I do think that could be a, a really potential strong answer, but they're not going to go for it. You do have the Sejuani at least, but generally junglers don't actually have enough of an income to really kind of stifle like a... With Coom up here, CLG are trying to respond, but Golden Guardians just say, all right, if you bring two, we're bringing three. And now it's Contracts having to make his way up as well. Even with that incredibly resistant plating, they're about to lose a plate here on tier one, but it's CLG looking to strike first. Dope was going to be taken low. It's first blood back over to River and who he stays alive. It'll be a one for one trade as River drops. Six days still trying to fight it out. Pooms at 200 HP, but a teleport's coming in. CLG's ready to punish, but Golden Guardian sidesteps. Can they get away even further? Beautiful oh. death sentence from Huhi to get Six Day out of the W2 from Sejuani, but now he's got to walk away as well. Gory and Palafox both under 100 health, while Six Day keeps getting chased. He can't get one back, and CLG's got a two for one kill lead. Golden Guardian's <laughs> about to lose their support, and Palafox gets the money next. Oh, my. from getting any of those kills? Doklu would be completely out of the game, but now, oh, oh boy, Big Dokes gets caught by some chain oh. CC. We're going to get this before Rift Herald spawns. It's what we were talking with Roxa about in the previous game. It means you don't just have to handshake the neutrals, and you can also fight for that second one here in a minute or two. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we win. Then all of a sudden, Jace has a free angle onto your back line. And, and if they don't bad. commit, then he gets free shot class as he was actually getting from that spot. Sion was in a spot where, you know, only person they could really commit was onto him, but a great hook on a contract. They're ready to dive. The turret's still not down, but I don't think they care too much. Contracts is low. He's going to get eliminated. But now River gets picked up in return. It's jungler for jungler. CLG defending. Ligorish needs to run. He flashes over the wall. Right? Golden Guardians is up a little bit over that now as it's about to be built a little bit further with Ligorish knocking down the first turret of the game. You just immediately snap back. Also with the Demolish proc running the Green Tree secondary on his runes. It means easy chunks, easy plates. Gory's getting jumped on here. CLG forcing the flash out of the enemy what? mid laner. But Luger is all alone on the other side of the river. He nearly dies, but he stays alive with 100 HP. Six Day looking to finish him off, but can't quite do it. River's at 100 HP. Contracts looks for him. The W2 is going to be sidestepped, and River is still on the run. Palafox chasing after who he and Six Day as the Golden Guardians retreat. The flash defensively to avoid that blade caller, but we're back to live. It's on the dragon. Right back to the Whoa. dragon. We go, and River's killed before they can do anything else about it. Golden Guardians lost their jungler. The Drake hasn't been taken out yet. It's a double kill back over to Luger, and now Stick Say drops next. See? You can see Luger all of a sudden, a couple hundred gold ahead, two dragons now in the back pocket here of CLG, and they are finding themselves in an enviable position in this very important game. Finish off Luger, really, really hurts. Now Doko's gonna get first tower solo gold, so all of a sudden, top of the gold, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's thinking seven. about. Uh, how does this game become winnable? It's going to have to be about picks. They need to control vision. They need to try to find. Yeah, sticks it. That is, that is three times now. That has been like one auto of health on Luger. And those are those plays that can really start to get in your head, start to frustrate you. Because if you get that first kill, guess what? You get the second and the third kill yeah. because you would have had An that extra, extra longsword, long which would have got it for you. And that's really frustrating in that spot. But well played, honestly, on both sides. Six Day doing a good job anticipating that E coming through from the Zaya, the pullback on the feathers, actually Gale Force up. There was the response of Gale Force up from Luger as well to try to get that direction, uh, but couldn't actually land it. The important thing now, is Luger already has the Navori done, so he is out to a nice little lead here. Six Day's gonna have some golden pocket, but not oh. quite done. Licorice ready for the engage here. Decimating smash onto Palafox, but Contracts is the target. Death Sentence pulls him back underneath the turret, but they still don't have the damage to kill him. Six Day's gonna grab it now, and he's traded for River. One for two as Dokla dies. Six Day's gonna be taken out next. It'll be a two for two. It's a bloodbath here in the mid lane as Gory's still off to the side. CLG's got more health overall. Licorice nearly dead, has to retreat. And the tier one turret falls in mid lane. CLG back to worth one. noting. I actually really like this build from Poom. Uh, he goes for the tank mythic here. He yeah. is really, really strong going Radiant Virtue because he's yeah. landing next to the Scryer plant. So Poom recognizes he needs to back away here. River wants to go back into the pick, clear out some of the vision placed down by CLG. This oh, towards a Warmog second, which surprised me a little bit, uh, but looking for the ulti here. Nice repel. He repels, but he's going to repel right back down onto the ball. Palafox was ready with a follow-up shockwave, and now River's killed off at the very start. Palafox flashes away. Angle to get onto a backline. Uh, then you can really start to threaten something. Nice little sidestep from Luger. They're going to turn it around. Boom! Oh, is ready to go, and Stixay 
flashes and still dies. Luger now looking for more. Gory's got a flash away. Box. It's a five-man CLG Baron play as Licorice goes over the wall with a Blast Cone. Whom could potentially get caught out here, but the other Blast Cone's gonna get him right back to safety. River's nowhere near for a steal, and now Dokla is gonna apply more. You know, having that hard engage that uh, feels pretty much guaranteed does make it really, really difficult because they kind of know he's the only real threat. Like, unless Gory can just walk up on one of these squishy carries, which he can't, no one else can really threaten them anymore. So they just have to put all pressure on 6A. And even if 6A survives... Drake is what we're talking about because as Dokla draws all the pressure, CLG collects the prize. These kind of compositions. If you aren't snowballing, it's so difficult. So Golden Guardians are going to move out. But look at Puma's positioning on the side. So hard to get in. Dokla finds River. That's all he had to do. Just keep Elise away. Make it so there's no sort of a chance that you lose this objective. Licorice flashing out. Contracts falling back to the rest of the team. And now CLG is ready to re-engage. Licorice is tanky. Tanky enough to live, but only for now. Dokla? I don't... Uh, I'd say will buy a stopwatch, which is something, but... It's just so hard to imagine he gets enough space to actually make something happen in a team fight because really all CLG has to do is pressure sticks A and there's no consistent damage. Gory just died solo to Dokla back in the mid lane off uh -oh. screen. This is a problem. All CLG has to do now is just dance just back wait. and forth with Golden Guardians and Dokla will win the game. Golden Guardians, the pressure on them just doubled with Gory dying in that 1v1. You said it earlier, you favor Yone as the game goes forward versus Jace in that solo matchup in a side lane scenario, and that just showed off why. Dokla giving his team a 5v4 for still 30 seconds from now. Stick stays already dead. There's the trade of cooldowns. There's the superior resources left to spend. Golden Guardians have already lost two more. And Luger doesn't think that's enough. Who he and Licorice are trying to escape. But Poom's coming around from the Dokla's corner to try base. to cut him off. Dokla's ready to go. They don't want Yone <laughs> taking the turret. As soon as somebody else has turret, that's when you go in. And that's when who he goes down. Poom leads the charge. And a teleport onto the cannon minion to try to keep it alive, tanking up the turret. Licorice knocks it away, so they'll at least target the others. But now he's stuck running back into the fountain. Luger, unstoppable. CLG, looking to end the game right now. Licorice's dead body won't even be able to rampage through him. Dokla resets his position back onto the fountain, unfortunately. But CLG still has so much time. 10 seconds on Stixay and River. CLG don't even care. They're trying to pad the stats and get another one on Gory. And there's the execution. CLG, we said they had to win it, and they won it. They'll take down Golden Guardian. CLG kick off Super Week in a huge.